The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily represent those of this station or its management. It's time now for Where You Live with Gene Sullivan, the show that deals with the news and events that affect you the most. Whether you rent or own, live in an HOA, single family home, or an apartment building, Gene will tackle the issues right where you live. So, from the True North Painting Studios, here is the original man of steel, Resolve himself, who stands for truth, justice, and the association way. Here's Gene Sullivan. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Where You Live. I'm Gene Sullivan, and I'm broadcasting from the True North Painting Studios. When you're looking for the right painting contractor, what do you look for? Isn't it someone who will respect you, your time, your property, and your budget? That's what you can expect from True North Painting. Find out more about this exceptional company by going online at truenorthpainting.com. That's T-R-U, northpainting.com, or give them a call at 952-831-1433. I'm also brought to you by the great folks at Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. I'd like to give a shout-out, as usual, to Christopher Wyatt Earp Huberty with the fastest fingers of any board op. How are you, Chris? I'm good, Gene. Thank you for that introduction. Say, uh, have you ever been called a doorknob in your life? Most likely. <laughs> <laughs> um, a a, uh, a very uh, derogatory term when you're called that in junior high, I guess. Oh, it's devastating. But in uh, the city of Vancouver now, uh, not only uh, is it that, but according to some politicians, it is considered a dastardly device that must be <laughs> done away with. And we're going to be talking about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in uh, the show today. I also have a guest that's going to be on with us a little bit later who uh, says that, you know, with this whole discussion that we have uh, over making reasonable accommodations and uh, dealing with uh, uh, protected classes and fair housing, a lot of people have been, have gotten to a point where they say I'm, they're frozen and incapacitated and say, I, I, I don't know that uh, we can, uh, uh, ever say no to any request that someone makes? Well, this person says, no, I think you can have a more reasonable approach, and we'll be dealing with that person in just a little bit. But uh, first of all, let's begin with property management in the news. Property management in the news is brought to you by Home Furniture and Abbey for Coverings. Their showrooms are staffed with professionals who will help you choose what you need to fit both your lifestyle and budget. Whatever you need, chances are they'll have what you're looking for. If you wish to avail yourself of special pricing you're not going to find anywhere else, all where you live listeners, call customer service coordinator Lori Matson at 952-224-2663. Our first story is uh, from the city of Vancouver. And... Uh, as I said before, the politicians there want to say farewell to doorknobs. The Vancouver City Council wants to ban those dastardly devices. Is this a grandstand for politicians to make, or is it just simply grandstanding? Here's what's uh, happening in the city of Vancouver. The city council said that uh, they have a, a desire and a goal to want to help the disabled, and the elderly. And who doesn't? It's a very noble goal to undertake. And they feel that the next uh, item that they need to put in their crosshairs to deal with are doorknobs. And the idea for the city council is they want to see them banned. Now, the doorknob's been used for over 150 uh, years. A lot of people thought that this has been a great idea. But instead... They want to see the doorknob replaced everywhere, and instead you have the lever. It's simple, it's sleek, it's easier to use. And so that is what they are trying to do. And so I'm asking, is this a real grandstand, a noble 
uh, effort for them to make, or is it just simply grandstanding? Now, some people's idea, anytime you have uh, politics and, a, uh, and uh, are dealing with an issue, uh, people want to make an emotional plea. And there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with emotions. Uh, our emotions are what make us uh, passionate people. Uh, they uh, have us uh, feel strongly about something. My only concern is, is that sometimes in the arena of politics, that emotions take over to such a degree that uh, it ends up where the person is using that as a way of saying, if you don't agree with me or feel the same way I do, ergo, that must mean that you're bad, you're heartless, you're uncaring. And so instead of debating just simply on the merits of an idea, trying to have a candid discussion of whether or not something is good, they want to end the discussion right away with that emotional plea. And that's what has uh, happened here. There are some, the anti-doorknob movement in Vancouver and other parts of Canada, uh, they said we need to take a look at why doorknobs are not suitable. Uh, they said, when you stop and look at the people with arthritis uh, and have very little movements of their hand, and they, they said, uh, we know that this is something that just must be done away with. Well, um, who are some of those heartless people if there is a uh, growing movement of the anti-doorknob uh, uh, folks in uh, Vancouver? Who are the people who are for doorknobs? Who are some of the people that are being called heartless? Well, interesting enough, one of those groups happens to be an elderly group themselves, and they've spoken in favor of doorknobs. What are their arguments? What are they saying? Well, uh, they're saying um, it is uh, already not an issue. Because they say in public places, there needs to be, because of uh, accessibility laws, handicap accessibility laws, it's not an issue. Public places already have uh, either a lever or they have the bar that you press down or you have the button that opens the door automatically. What we're talking about is the city council would like to see doorknobs removed on all residential housing. And uh, the elders are saying, I don't know that you need to do this on all homes. Uh, they are making the statement that people can decide for themselves if they need a lever instead of a doorknob uh, to their own home. Uh, but the city council says, no, we want to make sure that even builders from here on out are forced to put in levers only and not even use the doorknob. How can you? It's just an uh, awful device that uh, puts boundaries for disabled people. Uh, what's interesting is this elderly group also has some other arguments they said need to be taken into consideration. When you take a look at a city, uh, the, the size of Vancouver and the age of Vancouver, you have a lot of older homes. And with older homes, you have homes that are on the Canadian Register. Now, what is the Canadian Register? Well, that would be akin to or are the equivalent to the National Historic Registry. And when you place a home or a building on the National Historic Registry, one of the reasons why it is considered a National Historic Building and is given prominence is because all of the items that are on the building are in its originality. These are original items. And uh, it, you take away uh, from it being considered a historic building when you start removing some of those items. So they said, for that reason, we should be concerned. This elderly group that's for doorknobs also said the doorknob uh, can simply be redesigned. They said, you don't need to necessarily have a, a lever you can have an oval shape or a, more of a square shape that uh, still makes it easier for someone to grab and turn the door instead of having a lever. 
They also say that there is a reason for that. They said also because of being in Canada and being in Vancouver, not only are levers easier for elderly and disabled people to enter a home with, but it is also much easier for the animal kingdom to come in and enter a person's home. You know, without opposing thumbs, it makes it a lot easier for uh, animals like bears and raccoons, which they say there are plenty of, and there have been cases of homes that have had levers where bears and raccoons have entered because of having the lever instead of the doorknob. And so uh, it's uh, very interesting that you have, uh, this, uh, you have this debate going on. Remember the words that the anti-doorknob crowd was using. They were saying, we should ban all doorknobs in the UK. But uh, if that is the feeling, what is actually being done? What is it that the city council of Vancouver actually passed? Well, they didn't, even though they say they're against doorknobs, they didn't ban all doorknobs, the city council did pass a law recently that said uh, only doorknobs on all new buildings moving forward must have a lever and not, uh, and not be a doorknob that is used. So you need to ask yourself uh, the question, if the issue really is uh, boundaries with uh, handicapped and disabled in being able to enter and leave a building, did the city council really accomplish anything with this new law? This appears to me to be a uh, career politician's move to say they've done something, that they've addressed the situation, to put another political feather in their cap, and on behalf of the disabled and elderly, without really doing anything significant for them in their life. Well, we're going to take a break right now, but don't go away a lot more of where you live after these messages. <laughs> 